uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's a great uh, 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 pleasure uh, for me to join this panel and talk about uh, 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 environmentally sustainable growth, green growth, uh, inclusive growth uh, from uh, the Asian perspective. Uh, we have completed a study on climate change and green Asia. Uh, we have been working with uh, the Asian think tanks, uh, the Chinese uh, think tank, uh, uh, Indian, uh, Indonesian, uh, uh, Thai, Vietnamese, Kazakhstan, and so forth. So our book, uh, which uh, uh, would be out uh, very soon, uh, uh, uh discusses uh, the progress of uh, uh, climate change mitigation in terms of policies and actual, uh, actual outcomes. Uh, <coughs> so uh, we uh, first uh, introduce how much Asians have done. Uh, I think uh, there is a perception that uh, Asians uh, are not doing anything. And actually, that's not, uh, that's not the case. Uh, uh, Chinese are doing a uh, lot of things, Indians, Indonesians, and, and so forth. Uh, of course, uh, what uh, they do uh, is not uh, quite enough. Uh, so uh, after discussing uh, what uh, many Asian countries have been doing, uh, we identify the gaps and uh, 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 agendas for further, uh, further progress. So in that book, uh, we uh, discuss uh, uh, national, uh, national policies. Uh, most of the policies have to be uh, done at the national level. But uh, regional uh, cooperation is also an important uh, element. So we discuss uh, uh, national policies and, and regional cooperation uh, uh, issues. So uh, today's uh, presentation, uh, will be uh, uh, not uh, just on, on climate change and, and green Asia, but a bigger, bigger issue that Asia uh, faces. So I call it uh, rebalancing uh, Asia. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, I can move. <coughs> So uh, what, uh, what I'm going to do uh, <coughs> today uh, is to give you a sort of a, a bigger picture of uh, where Asia is uh, facing the global financial crisis. OK, thank you. Uh, <coughs> and uh, uh, I want to talk about uh, the importance of uh, regional economic integration and cooperation. You know, many issues that uh, Asians have to tackle, uh, of course, have to be done at the, na the national level. But uh, regional uh, consultation, regional cooperation would play a very important role. Uh, so uh, inclusive growth and green growth would be a very important uh, uh, post-crisis uh, challenge. <coughs> so uh, one. Uh, important issue is that uh, uh, impressive uh, 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 growth and uh, development performance in Asia uh, has been accompanied by uh, some costs, rising income inequality, uh, environmental issues, and, and uh, uh, other, other uh, issues. Uh, and so far, Asian economic uh, development has been possible because of the healthy development in North America and Europe. That's not something uh, uh, Asians cannot continue to expect. So Asians have to, have to really create uh, uh, their own growth momentum within Asia. So uh, that's why green growth uh, is uh, very important. Green growth is very important for Asians' own sake. Uh, and inclusive growth uh, is, uh, is very important uh, because uh, maintaining uh, social stability, uh, social uh, coherence uh, would be a very important uh, condition for sustained economic uh, growth. 
So uh, I, I want to be very brief on the impact of, th of uh, the global financial crisis on, on Asia. I think uh, uh, many of you would, uh, would know uh, there was a sharp uh, decline in export uh, in the aftermath of uh, the Lehman shock and growth uh, uh, rate uh, came down. And after, uh, after uh, uh, Lehman, uh, everything uh, started to come back. And but uh, uh, Europe, uh, uh, the European situation uh, 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 has not been uh, very, uh, very stable. Uh, now, the uh, one one of uh, the issues of uh, rebalancing for Asia was uh, uh, the current account surplus in uh, in Asia, particularly China's. And China's uh, current account surplus uh, went up to 10% of GDP in uh, year 2007. But uh, it's been declining in terms of uh, GDP. So current account adjustment is taking place in China. Uh, but uh, if you take a look at the US, US current account deficit uh, has been declining, but uh, has stopped declining. Uh, uh, maybe uh, the current account deficit uh, may, may <coughs> Uh, may start uh, rising. Uh, it's, uh, it's very important uh, for uh, sound development of the global economy. Uh, uh, rebalancing uh, continues to take place in Asia. So, so uh, China, China is now focusing on the importance of consumption uh, and inequality, uh, the environmental issues, uh, at least uh, at the leadership level, there is a strong uh, recognition of the need for continued rebalancing. <coughs> rebalancing in the sense of uh, current account uh, adjustment, rebalancing in the sense of uh, shifting uh, sources of growth away from uh, heavy investment and export dependence towards domestic demand supported by consumption. And to do that, uh, China would need a healthy domestic, uh, uh, domestic uh, development. So, so inclusive, inclusive growth is a very important, uh, important issue. <coughs> now, uh, just uh, uh, briefly here, regional economic integration is a key vehicle for growth uh, rebalancing. Um, if you take a look at uh, uh, Asia, of course, China is a high saving country, Japan, also, but there are other countries uh, which need uh, foreign savings. So, uh, so Asia's savings can be channeled for Asia's investment. Uh, that would uh, uh, facilitate um, rebalancing. Uh, that, that would contain the expansion of Asia's current account uh, surplus. So, uh, so regional economic <coughs> integration uh, is uh, very important. Uh, when we take a look at uh, Asia, uh, trade and investment integration has been taking place. Uh, Asia has emerged as uh, a gl global factory. This is a very uh, interesting phenomenon. Uh, supply chains have uh, developed uh, in Asia involving many developing uh, countries. Many developing countries are now part of uh, supply chains. And uh, they accept uh, foreign multinational companies, and they produce uh, uh, various uh, uh, types of uh, intermediate products by importing high value added uh, uh, intermediate products from countries like Japan, China, uh, sorry, Japan, Korea, Taiwan. Uh, and then they add value in their countries and then send semi-finished products to China. And in China, they add uh, a small amount of uh, value and then export. So this sort of uh, division of labor uh, across countries involving uh, Thailand, Malaysia, uh, Indonesia, uh, the Philippines, now supply chains are spreading to Cambodia, Laos, and we are expecting uh, Myanmar, when it comes back to the international community, Myanmar would also be a host of uh, such uh, supply chains. And India is now beginning to develop uh, supply chains. India's uh, look east policy 
uh, facilitates that in their receiving uh, foreign direct investment and uh, uh, is now beginning to produce uh, parts and components to be sent to Thailand, other parts of uh, Asia, and then uh, assembled uh, in, say, China, and then uh, exported. Now, this sort of uh, global factory uh, story uh, has been working very well. But again, China, uh, uh, US, and EU, the market, external markets are shrinking. So what Asians have to do is uh, to make sure that uh, uh, demand for final products would be developed and expanded uh, within, uh, within Asia. Uh, so intra-regional uh, trade uh, integration has been, uh, has been proceeding this uh, red, uh, 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 not, not quite uh, as high as uh, the European level, <coughs> but uh, no more than 50%. Uh, and uh, Asians are now are producing a lot of uh, free trade agreements uh, and uh, now Asians are trying to uh, create a big market in Asia uh, among uh, the so-called ASEAN plus six countries, 10 ASEAN countries and six uh, uh, countries, uh, China, Japan, Korea, India, Australia, New Zealand. Uh, these countries are now working together to produce an Asia-wide FTA called <coughs> uh, a Regional uh, a Comprehensive Economic uh, Partnership, RCEP. So this is uh, consistent uh, with the view that the Asians have to create their own market. Uh, so they have to devel develop uh, their own market and by integrating their market, uh, more consumption uh, can take place, more investment can take place, uh, relying less on uh, the external markets. And Asia can be a source of, uh, source of markets for US firms and European firms uh, also. So uh, I, I skip, uh, okay. And then, uh, because I was given 15 minutes, uh, maybe uh, another uh, few, uh, few more minutes, uh, the post-crisis challenge uh, includes growth rebalancing, which I have already talked about, uh, inclusive growth, which is, uh, which, which is very important uh, for not only equity, but uh, uh, some countries like China, Thailand uh, uh, are aging. Of course, uh, Japan is aging very fast, Korea, Singapore, Taiwan. They are aging very, very fast, but uh, China is now catching up. Thailand uh, also. Uh, so uh, uh, the pension system, you know, old age uh, care system, uh, aging society uh, uh, is going to be real. So uh, these countries have to be, uh, uh, have to address uh, the a coming uh, aging uh, issue. And then uh, green growth. Uh, green growth is going to be very, very important. Uh, green growth uh, is uh, 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 tends to develop uh, industries that do not have to depend on external market markets. Essentially, there is huge potential market in Asia uh, for renewables, for energy saving, environmental improvement. So this is uh, a PM 2.5. Uh, issue in Beijing, and not only in Beijing, in Delhi also, uh, PM 2.5, you know, uh, spr spreading. So uh, I think uh, now, now Chinese uh, leadership is uh, becoming very, very serious about, uh, about this issue. You know, uh, many uh, Chinese uh, leaders are saying it's a shame. It's a shame for, 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 for China. Beijing, you know, contaminated uh, by uh, bad air so much and uh, 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 creating a uh, very hazardous uh, situation for health. Uh, this, this is not acceptable. So, so that sort of perception is uh, spreading among uh, the Chinese uh, leadership. So addressing their own environmental issues, their own environmental issues, and uh, that would have an effect, positive effect on, on climate, uh, uh, climate change. So uh, 
so green growth uh, is, uh, is uh, in that sense, uh, very important. And uh, regional cooperation uh, is, uh, is going to be uh, very important to make uh, progress on these fronts. Um, on inclusive growth, perhaps uh, 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 some countries learning from other countries' experiences uh, uh, in terms of uh, 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 providing a social protection, like uh, a direct uh, cash transfer system, what sort of uh, 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 system would work best? Of course, uh, Latin American experiences are there, but, but in Asia, uh, Indonesia is developing a, a direct cash transfer system, uh, the Philippines also. So, so Asian countries are, are learning uh, from the global experience and, and also with, uh, with each other. So doing it together, doing it together, even though the policy is fundamentally national policy, but doing it together, that, that's really an Asian way of uh, uh, cooperation. <coughs> so, so I talked about this. Uh, <coughs> I talked about that. So, in, so inclusive growth, uh, I, I already talked about that. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, so growth and uh, environment. This. Uh, uh, this uh, relationship uh, is a the relationship between income and uh, and uh, uh, eco uh, footprint. Uh, it's a it's a very very difficult uh, issue. Uh, decoupling uh, 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 the two is uh, a key issue. The experience in Japan and, and Korea, Singapore, can provide some good uh, good lessons. Um, so. Uh, so here uh, we, we have j uh, just a few slides uh, from our study on uh, uh, climate change and, uh, and green uh, Asia. Uh, so we, we are trying to encourage uh, Asian countries uh, to focus on the core benefits aspect. Uh, in China, uh, climate change is becoming uh, uh, one of the important, uh, important policy issues, but still, for many developing uh, countries, climate change issues are, uh, are not uh, one of the top uh, priority issues. But environmental issues are, uh, and health issues for, for the people. Uh, so streamlining uh, the uh, environmental issues into their develop development uh, uh, strategies would be uh, something that uh, uh, these uh, Asian think tanks are, are recommending uh, to their uh, governments. <coughs> and uh, uh, regional cooperation uh, is, uh, is very important. Uh, financing um, uh, mechanisms, mechanisms and technology transfer is very important. Uh, Japan's technology, Korea, Singapore, <coughs> and, and so forth. Um, together with uh, uh, supporting uh, domestic uh, domestic policies. So uh, why don't I just uh, finish? Uh, 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 Asia has been quite uh, successful in achieving a sustained economic uh, growth development and has achieved a substantial poverty reduction. <coughs> but uh, but Asia uh, at the same time has created. Uh, other problems, uh, so enormous challenges are there, and uh, development paradigm has to change. Uh, the Chinese leadership, new leadership, is not talking about the paradigm change. Uh, of course, uh, whether that's going to take place actually is uh, another issue, but uh, at least they realize the importance of uh, changing uh, the development uh, paradigm. So more balanced uh, growth. Uh, inclusive uh, growth, uh, environmentally sustainable growth. But to achieve this, uh, uh, I think uh, we think that uh, uh, institutional and governance reform would be very, very important. Uh, because uh, in the case of China, for, for example, uh, one of uh, the basic reasons behind uh, this high level of uh, PM 2.5 is uh, 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 
the uh, uh, coal burning uh, on the part of uh, uh, power uh, generation companies and uh, uh, very loose uh, implementation of uh, uh, emission control on, on the part of uh, vehicles and behind them uh, you know very powerful state owned uh, enterprises are there so so state enterprise reform is extremely important to make sure that uh, this environmental uh, improvement uh, is to be achieved and also inclusive growth uh, income distribution um, between the rural sector and urban sector uh, is very skewed and uh, the income distribution between the state sector and non-state sector very skewed and the income distribution between uh, uh, party related uh, you know uh, groups and non-party related groups that's also very skewed so to address uh, in inclusive growth also institutional and governance reform uh, is uh, extremely important so why don't i just stop here thank you very much <coughs> That was particularly interesting at the end, and I was, uh, I'm, I'm sure there'll be some questions that we'll want to, uh, people will want to put to you, but if you can hold your questions for the time being. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Kawai.